got some hair on my armpit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Weekly Wine Down. I'm Alex. And I'm Morgan. And today we're going to be talking about a very unique wine that neither of us have ever tried before. <laughs> Can't wait, but also terrified. Mm, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we have found an Argentinian, is it Argentinian? I think Argentinian yeah. wine. That we won't be able to pronounce well. Exactly. Definitely butcher. <laughs> it's a Ricardo Santos. Similion? Yeah. I'm just gonna go with Similion. Oh yeah. Um, 2018. The reason I grabbed this is because I was like, oh, I just want to try a different wine, but I just get like super anxious and almost like scared when I'm walking through the liquor store and they're, you know how they're all like in rows yeah. of like Spain. Uh, they're all out by region and or country. And overwhelming for sure. Super overwhelming, like over it, over the overwhelm. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to make just like a super quick guide for you guys um, so that you can successfully go into the liquor store, grab your wine and drink it with confidence. And actually like it instead of yes. just choosing something <laughs> that you're not sure if you're going to enjoy. Exactly. So <laughs> okay, let's pop this sucker open. Let's do yes. it. Oh, and it's a twist off. <laughs> These are my Lovely. favorite. <laughs> I love it. I saw this meme once and it was like somebody brought the cheap stuff to the party and it was two corks. Oh, of course I didn't do a taster size. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm just like very naturally pour full glass. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, we're just trying to make wines super approachable. That's the whole idea of being here today. So. You know what? It's fine. I mean, I actually agree that, um, no, I disagree that twist off means cheap. Agreed. Um, if anything, it's actually more sustainable. I agree with your disagree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely more sustainable. Yeah, more sustainable. Mm -hmm. It's definitely easier. Yes. You don't have to have any special fancy tools. And you know what? The thing that people don't think about that I hate, especially with white, is I'll open, I'll take out the cork, but then if I don't finish the bottle, yeah. which doesn't happen that often, but it Very still happens. Rarely. But when I try and put it back in like the side door with the cork, it's too tall for the side door. <laughs> so then it ends up like sitting in the freaking refrigerator all lopsided like this. Yeah. So Let's I, try our non-taster size taster. Yes. I immediately smelled grapes. It, 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 it smells smelled just like, grapes, like yeah. grape juice strongly. Oh God, do you think this is going to be sweet? Ooh, before we taste, do you think this is going to oh, be a yeah. sweet wine? I My no guess idea. would be yes. I can barely read the label. My so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all in Spanish yeah. until it gets to when it's reading. It's like, over the past few years, I've been working with my family. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Well, you really switched it up on us. Oh, I'm getting like strong, like citrus notes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it smells like it's going to have a lot of um, grapefruit, maybe. Okay. I don't Let's know. Let's give it's it a little citrusy. taste. Okay. Yeah, Child. definitely. Mm -hmm. Not sweet. What just happened? <laughs> I don't know. It's not sweet. I was it's very wrong. Not sweet. <laughs> no, at it's all. Not. Don't know why it tastes or uh, don't know why it smells like straight up grape juice. It does. Uh, from a Welchers bottle. <laughs> yeah, oh, wait, Welchers. <laughs> <laughs> Welchers. It's the best. Welchers. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't say Welchers because, like, unless they want to sponsor this. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Maybe we should call it Welchers. Welchers. <laughs> We can't tag it. Our wine. Well, <laughs> a mix of strong grapes. <laughs> okay, this well, is quite delicious. Yes, I like it too. It's it's super dry, so already it is like very that. dry. So I grabbed a white wine because mm -hmm. I really um, um, wanted to go with the weather. Yeah. It's gorgeous outside. I need to like show you guys a view of like what we're looking at. Just so oh pretty. yes, we do. It's a we lovely will. day, yeah, and lovely you should day. see the house across the street. <laughs> we'll show you a little behind the scenes. Yes, so just stay tuned for that in our uh, blooper reel because it's hilarious. <laughs> Fantastic! I'm really excited. Okay, this is good. Like mm -hmm. this is just a white blend, so it's nothing special. Yeah, I feel bad that I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Semillon. Semillon. Yeah. Simeon. Semion. Semion. Let's say Semion. I never take Spanish. Oh, well, <laughs> Duolingo has taught me that. <laughs> Sponsored by <laughs> Duolingo. Um, Just kidding, it's not. <laughs> and how much did you pay for this? Oh, it was like $15. That's awesome. Yeah. 
I think that's I, always a safe price range for trying wines that you aren't familiar with, but are, you know will still yes. be quality. Mm -hmm. Our professional businesswoman over here, our wine connoisseur. So over professional. Here. <laughs> Talking about finding a wine in the store because yes. it's overwhelming. Super overwhelming. So Alex was telling me, and she'll go into it more, but that the place that you went to separated by region and yeah. by country. Yeah. Yeah. Which that's always a good place to start because, well, just pick a country. Just so pick a country. <laughs> if you know that you've tried wines from California mm -hmm. and so you know that you like New World wines, then just pick something from there. Or if you want to pick an... I can't talk. <laughs> a completely different country, <laughs> like Argentina. Yeah. Then just go with a wine that you're familiar with. Well, and I think it's so much fun because you can really explore and you can just be like, okay, this week or day, yeah. I'm going to try an Argentine wine and then, uh, or Argentinian. Yeah, Argentinian. Argentinian. Argentinian mm -hmm. wine. And then the next day or week, Depending on how much you like to drink. Let's just say the next day. The next day. Because <laughs> let's be realistic with ourselves. Let's be very honest. I'm just trying to give us the benefit of the doubt. Um, you could say, hmm, I think I'll go explore South France. Yeah. Um, which, oh my God. Or like, or if you have something specific in mind, like a Bordeaux. You're like, oh, I want to try Bordeaux. Um, you'll know to go to France, obviously, for a Bordeaux. Because that's like the only Bordeaux that you're going to want. But yeah, I think that. that's a good rule of thumb. Just, mm -hmm. it's fun to just say hey, today I'm going to go to, to Germany or wherever. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. Yeah, and then... Oh, we've got a FedEx guy. <gasps> this is our wine delivery. Oh, hell yeah. Clearly, we um, are outside today and we just got our wine delivery. <laughs> hell right, yeah. Yes. Got to get that wine. Love it. Oh. <laughs> guys. <laughs> More guys. <laughs> Getting oh, a God. little crazy. <laughs> Lord, help us. Uh, <laughs> gotta find where my little lip mark was because I'm a psychopath. Oh yeah, she has to find the lipstick mark. Because so. I only want to drink from that little part so that I don't have lip prints around the entire <laughs> top of the glass. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, um, so, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Okay, I would <laughs> like to think that the shape of this glass is not very forgiving when it comes to swirling and moving wine. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I well, swear gonna... this is the first glass that we've had. I'm going to go shower, guys. <laughs> right back. Just a little spritz for Alex. It's getting warm outside. <laughs> just a little... <laughs> legs are sticky things. <laughs> so, yeah, I love this. Actually, I think this would be perfect for brunch. Yes. And um, it would be, oh, my God, we should do a dinner party or, like, a brunch party where we have, like, different tapas and then, like, different wines, like, selections throughout, yes. like, the table. So, like... You start at one. You start it's like having a little wine tasting, like a wine yeah, pairing. Yeah, like a wine pairing, but with random wines. Yeah, so. I love it. Hello, FedEx guy. Why did he just come back around? Jesus. He okay. literally just went that the, way. The trials of building outside. <laughs> <laughs> Moral of the story here in this episode is try wines that you haven't tried before. Yeah. Whether it's whether it's the region or a type of wine that you haven't tried before, stick with something that's comfortable that you know. So if that's the region or the type of wine, mm -hmm. stick with that and then just make one of the other variables oh, yeah. different. Yeah, because you can find a cab from all over the world. You yeah. can find, you know, a Pinot Noir from not everywhere, but a few different places. Yeah. And they're going to taste different depending on where it's from. So exactly. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed this. Make sure to drop a comment below. And we are hopeful that we can continue bringing some really cool, different new wines to you. Yes. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Weekly Wine D for all the content that you don't normally see on our YouTube channel. We should probably just change it to Weekly Wine, but you know, we're gonna just, we're gonna stay I'm gonna strong. emphasize the D for as long as I can. We're staying strong with the D imposition here. If you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you soon. Bye. We can't really dance because we're sitting, but we're gonna try anyway. And I spilled my wine again. <laughs> okay, I didn't ask. Such a cute little porch, but then that's our view. It's like super cute, you guys. I mean, love this house. Here to help. <laughs>
molasses. There we go. These legs yeah. look super cute right now. Woo! Yeah. All right. Legs are out. Springs out. Legs out.